Hey everybody! Well, we have been living in Loretto for almost six months now. So we thought it would be time to take you guys and show you what it's like day to day to live and shop in Loretto when you're retired here and what stores we have in, in Loretto. We're going to show you how we live and shop day to day. So maybe you can get an idea of what it would be like for you to live here. So the first store that we're going to show you today is called Lay's. Lay's is a supermarket. Uh, it's a chain throughout Mexico and it was owned at, for a period of time by Albertsons and Safeway. This grocery store is the biggest grocery store in Loreto and it is fairly well stocked with both Mexican and American items. They have a very nice produce section. And they have a full pharmacy in the store. They've got a large dairy section in the back and they love their yogurt here in Mexico. I love their yogurt here in Mexico too, it's good. In the deli, you've got all the meats and cheeses. They have a full hot case and they even have rotisserie chickens. They're well stocked with all the health and beauty items that you need. And really, we probably get 90% of our items that we use on a daily basis from this Lay's store. The other big supermarket in town is the El Pescador Supermercado and they tend to specialize in a little more imported American items. You'll see things like Briar's ice cream and Ben and Jerry's. Here you buy the eggs one at a time. The third store on our stop is a store that everyone refers to as a bodega. This store was uh, purchased by Walmart and the entire chain, it's a, a Mexican chain, and they have mixed in some Walmart items. Uh, the store is kind of like a mini Walmart, but kind of a warehouse store at the same time. The bodega has a full supermarket and then a small department store type section also. They also have a good sized pharmacy. And as we walk out here, you can see that they even have the Walmart name on their card readers. The next store that we are going to visit is Copel. Copel is another Mexican chain uh, store, department store. It's kind of like a Target, but with a broader selection than a Target. You can see they have everything from motorcycles to a full range of electronics with all the newest electronics available there in, in the store. They also have an optical center. A lot of the store looks very similar to a TJ Maxx or Ross that you would be familiar with in the US. But then there are sections that have all the appliances and you feel like you're in a Sears. Is 
this is a uh, washing machine. And that is actually a huge washing machine, the size of the, the barrel in that. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, like you don't wheel. see, and it's portable. It's on wheels, so you can just roll it up and hook it up to your, oh, hook it up to your faucet, and you're good to go. Samsung, even. This is brilliant. If you had stuff you had to like get stains out of and wash it really quick, you could do it in here, and then the water dumps out and goes into the washing machine, and then you just throw the clothes in the washing machine, and this one is the dryer, and you set like something on top of here and turn the dryer on, and it's like a quick dry, like a sweater for flat, hmm. and then you put everything in there. Yeah, it's a little tiny dryer. That's hmm. awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They also have a full furniture section and uh, even flat pack furniture available. Along with a pretty good sized toy section, The second floor in the Coppell store is mostly clothing. So again, if you get the other 30 bucks a pair, 25 bucks a pair, but if you go to the Levi's, then you're up to $50, a little over $50 a pair. There's a mix of American and Mexican brands and the Mexican brands can be a very good deal. Ooh, I got caterpillar jackets. That looks pretty nice. All right here. Yeah, caterpillar shorts. Look at that. 26 bucks. Coppell also has a very extensive shoe section, and they even have a standalone shoe store in town. So how much will a pair of Nikes cost you here? Well, there's some down to 40 bucks for some of the what less the, expensive ones. What are the expensive ones? Uh, 16.79, which is about 80 bucks. They have a large women's section and JLo seems to be one of their main brands throughout the store. The next store on our tour is Waldo's. Waldo's is a Mexican chain, which is kind of like a dollar store, but they have a lot of higher priced items than you would see in a normal dollar store along with the more dollar type items. Again, much of this store has the feel of kind of a TJ Maxx or a Ross in the United States. This is where I get my Red Bull, 50 cents a can. That's the cheapest in town. And last but not least, let's talk about all the hardware stores in town. There are probably 20 or more hardware stores in town, uh, and all of them have something you might need, but probably don't have everything you need. Uh, we're gonna go take a look at the biggest store, which is the Madereria y Ferreteria, California. More plywood. If you think they got plywood in uh, the US, uh, look at this. Look at all the different kinds of plywood they got here. <laughs> what? 
It's insane. I mean, they got like every kind. This is beautiful cabinet grade, uh, like birch plywood. And then more and more lumber. And then there's a bunch of metal. And then you want other metal it's over here. Look at uh, metal, PVC. And they got this roofing stuff that looks kind of like, uh, this stuff looks kind of like tiles. It's made to look kind of like uh, really? tiles. It's a real thick fiberglass. It's really kind of a cool material. I've never seen it in the US. And all the uh, different shade cloths. My Alex Plus, my favorite caulking. And got all the blue tape and green tape and masking tape and HVAC tape and then this is all the iron for doing like gates and yeah they got tons of just pre-made iron pieces iron balls all stuff you weld up the the big latches decorative latches yeah you see conduit pieces Electrical, we got nice LED lights, breakers, plumbing, gas line, that's all gas, plumbing, toilet kits. Sink kits and Trooper is a Mexican brand. It's actually a really good uh, brand. I've got quite a bit of stuff already. Uh, we got Makita section, the DeWalt section. We got pretty much anything you want, but prices on all this stuff is about the same as you pay at Home Depot in the US. You know, if you buy the good quality stuff, it costs the same. Uh, then they got some Stanley and uh, Black and Decker stuff, Bosch, Milwaukee. Uh, it was like Milwaukee Sawzall special. You got a little hack Sawzall. What the heck is that? Thing? <laughs> and then Trooper. Trooper stuff is actually really good stuff, and it's made in Mexico, so the prices are usually way lower on the Trooper stuff because it's not, it doesn't have to be imported. And this other brand, Pretol, is also another brand that is a pretty decent brand, made in Mexico, I believe, and so the price is really good on it. Oh, uh, yeah, quick links and turnbuckles. Safety stuff, they do use safety stuff in Mexico now. They're using it more and more. You gotta have hard hats on every job site. And man, they got the entire rainbow, look at that. Hand tools, more hand tools, trooper, good quality stuff. Man, have you seen that many safety glasses ever in your life? <laughs> oh no. That is a little baby hammer. I've never seen a baby hammer, but you know what? If you had to get into a really tight spot and do some hammering, that thing's pretty sweet. Look at the grips. So that's a look at some of the main big stores here in Loretto. Of course, there's a lot more stores that we didn't have time to show you. Uh, you know, we've got AutoZone, Sherwin-Williams Paints, uh, lots of other stores, and then a ton of small mom and pop stores in every different type of uh, store that you would want. Uh, so there's a lot here in Loretto. Uh, also, restaurants are just crazy. The number of restaurants there are here to choose from is uh, really incredible. 
you know there's no chain restaurants there's no chain fast food places but there's just a ton of small mom and pop really good restaurants all around town the stores in loretto have probably 95 percent of what most people are going to need uh, to use you know there might be that small percentage of mostly imported items from america or canada that uh, you aren't going to find here and if you wanted those items some of those items if you went to la paz which is four hours away you could probably find some of them there um, cabo which is six hours away would have even more items because they're such a huge tourist destination for uh, americans and canadians but you know most people could get along without ever having to leave loretto if you are doing construction you know there's a better chance that you might have to uh, go to uh, la paz or there's another town in between here in la paz called uh, constitution that uh, is a much bigger town. I think it's about 100,000 people. So they have uh, more available in building supplies and materials and things like that. But overall, you know, for being a small town of about 15 to 20,000 people, I believe, in the middle of the desert on the Baja Peninsula in Mexico, you know, we're we're four hours from the next big city uh we have actually a lot to offer that said i hope you guys really enjoyed the video we are hopefully going to be getting back to construction soon we're actually going this morning to pick up some conduit and take it over to the property and so we're going to have some construction content coming soon we are hoping if everything goes good we will close on our property next week and if that happens uh, we are going to go full bore ahead so uh, there's big things to come keep watching subscribe if you haven't don't forget to like the video and remember to always live before you die